Welcome back guys to my channel. This is the time for us to discuss one of the crypto systems and that is Shift Cipher. I'll be giving you two strategies or two methods on how to do Shift Cipher. Let's have first this method for visual learners. Now for visual learners, when you are to do Shift Cipher, you just have to have two table, I mean, um, two rows with you in a table, I'm sorry. Yeah, the first row would be the original English alphabet and the second row will have the shifted alphabet. Now, when you are to do shift cipher, you need to decide, of course, with the, with the shift key that you need. For example, here, the shift key would be three. Now, if the shift key would be three, original English alphabet, this row, would now look like this. You might ask, ma'am, how come we have this shifted key to be this way? Now, when you use the shift key, guys, this would be the basis for us to know what's the first letter in the alphabet at this time. So, for example, original alphabet starts with letter A, but then if the shift key would be 3, we are to shift the alphabet with three keys and that would be one two three meaning our alphabet this time would start at letter d followed by e f g and so on until the time that you will reach letter z you just have to continue with the alphabet easy right before we go to the example Let's check first if you got the gist on how to shift your alphabet. So, for example, if my key would be 5, let's say the key would be 5. What do you think would our first letter be in the shifted alphabet? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Let's check if your answer is correct. Shift key is 5, so from A, we'll count 5 keys. That would be one, two, three, four, five. Therefore, the first letter would now be F. Next would be G, H, and so on. I hope your answer is correct. Now let's have another example before we go to the encrypting part. How about if the key is 12? Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. All right, let's check if your answer is correct. If the key is 12, that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, the first letter now would be M, followed by N, O, and so on. All right, so I hope you got now how to do that part. Now let's go back to encrypting the plain text Julius Caesar to its ciphertext, this one. So once you have this two row um, table with you, you just have to write away, make use of it, of course, meaning if you want to encrypt letter J us using shift key of three, J would now become M. That's why J here from plain text becomes M here in ciphertext. Yeah, easy. Easy to encrypt using shift cipher. Next would be U. Plain text U would now become X if we encrypt this with shift, shift um, key of three. That's why we have here X. How about L? L would now become O. I here becomes L. U here, still, X, and so on. Yeah, it's how easy it's for us to do shift cipher, encrypting shift cipher. Now, how about decrypting this time using shift cipher? Now, if you are to decrypt, it means that what you have at hand is the cipher text or the decrypted um, message, and you want to retrieve the original message or the plain text. Now, knowing that you have the cipher text with you. 
when you are to when you are to make your two row table here make sure that your first row this time is the shifted alphabet all right so if you encrypt encrypt meaning original message or plain text to cipher text first row would be original alphabet second row would be the shifted alphabet but if you are to do decrypting this time meaning you have the cipher text you want to get back the plain text your first row must be or must have the shifted alphabet and the second row must have the english alphabet and the the process will just be the same so um if your cipher text here starts with m m is originally j if you have oh uh if you have x that's originally letter u there you can retrieve back the message all right so i'll be having another video guys we're in um, the method there, there would be through calculations and that's an alternative. Yeah, you may check out that and compare if you have the same answer, right? Thank you guys.